Sarah, Ben, good evening, and definitely a good evening here for Leora Levy's campaign and her supporters here in Greenwich. Levy herself just got off the stage behind me a few minutes ago. She was talking to reporter, uh, reporters and supporters, excuse me, definitely a very victorious feeling in the air here right now. Supporters are still watching those results that were just called on the screen over here behind me. Levy's message to voters tonight, she's going to Washington. It felt really good on the ground. I will tell you, I could, the momentum was palpable over the weekend, last week and, and over the weekend, to be honest. And I was praying and hoping. And, you know, we'll see where we end up. There's still votes to count. Obviously, she told us that before those results got called. Now, Levy hitting some big conservative talking points in her speech just now to guests, transgender rights, abortion, vaccine mandates, saying the woke forces are trying to destroy the American nuclear family. Levy credits her last minute endorsement by former President Donald Trump, saying Monday night's FBI raid of his Mar-a-Lago estate pushed Connecticut Republicans to turn out to the polls. And obviously, with this race just being called right now, it looks like that stamp of approval from Trump was enough to push Levy to the front of this race. We'll continue to bring you updates from all the rest of the races that are yet to be called as those final votes are still counted. We'll send things back over to you, Ben and Sarah, in the studio.